be home soon. Please drive carefully, Tom. It would be a shame to spoil such a lovely evening. Hey, what's going on? Oh, Tom, he hit us! Hey! This guy's crazy! I can't hold on to the car! Look out, hold on, blow up! You all right, Paula? Yes. Yes, I'm okay. We better call the police. Attention all cars in the downtown area. The highway fire has been spotted on 32nd Street, approaching 45th Avenue. Did you hear that on the radio, Bob? That's right, they're out here. Hey, stop your car! I said stop! Look out, Bob, he's coming through, look out! We need more than a roadblock to stop that. We need a tank. Little swim, Julie Wood. I should have asked Quincy for an ejection seat. Warning. Rear end collision approaching. <gasps> Another mess created by that fool box! <laughs> Crankcase is smashed. Motor is wrecked. Steering column is bent. Computer is off. We won! We beat Team Valiant! Yahoo! Excellent, Fox. And this is only the beginning. I'll show the world my cars are better than Team Valiant's. My time has come at last! <laughs> It's simple. I didn't have enough power to stop Fox from pushing me into that ditch. No matter how well I drive, I can't beat him if I don't have the horsepower. Yeah, you're right, Julie. We were outpowered. You've got to give us something to fight with, Pops. All right, you two, relax. This race is lost. But we can learn from our mistakes. I'll put Quincy on the job. It'll take time, but he'll find a solution. Who needs time? I've got the solution and it's ready to go. Oh yeah, right. I guess we've heard that before. What kind of surprise have you got planned for us this time, Quincy? You know, the rules are very strict in these races. You can't just enter any car. We can't take a chance on being disqualified for some silly technicality. You did bother to read the rules. I know them backwards and forwards, point by point. And I assure you, my new car conforms with the rules. Now, if you just follow me. What? Welcome to my laboratory. Very funny, but there's nothing here. Where's this monster you've been working on? Is it gone? <laughs> <laughs> on the contrary, come right in. Presenting the Valiant Elephant. <laughs> It's a stretch, but it's within the rules. Quincy, I've seen you come up with all sorts of gizmos and inventions, but this thing is in a whole other league. A whole other league? It looks more to me like it's from a whole other planet. There's just one small problem. You see, the top speed is 11 miles per hour. Just a wee bit on the slow side. It's perfect for a snail race. Oh, and I was just starting to get excited. 
Say, uh, has anyone seen Steve? Last I heard, they were trying to pry him out of his car. Hey, let me out of here! Hey, guys, I hate to bother you, but would anyone happen to have a can opener? That party to honor my fabulous victory was quite a success, don't you think? Yes, yes, the leader appreciates your victory, Fox. You showed Team Valiant we can beat them. But you know, it wouldn't hurt you to thank me for designing the winning car. Huh, Mr. Ingratitude? How could I forget all that you do for me, Rue? Uh, hey, Fox! What are you doing? You're driving off the road! He's too fast, Ruth! I can't break away! Just lose him, you fool! That guy's out of his mind! What's wrong with your mind, Fox? You were such a hot shot on the racetrack today, but put you on the street! Ah, uh, forget it, I'll just take care of this myself! Hello, Michael! Quincy, allow me to introduce Mr. Frontier, the stock car race organizer. Mr. Frontier's in charge of setting up and preparing the races. Glad to meet you. I don't want to disturb you. It's a pleasure. Mr. Frontier wants to look at our race cars. I'll leave them with you, but, Quincy. But I don't uh, have time to show, Mr. Frontier. Well, me neither, Quincy. Enjoy your visit, Mr. Frontier. Bye. Goodbye. I don't want to be a bother. On the contrary, it's a pleasure. Follow me. Uh, thanks. I installed a double turbo to increase the power so as not to interfere with the otherwise prime performance. Interesting. I noticed that your electronic ignition system is rather original. Oh, you seem to know a lot about engines. Oh, no, not much. I'd like to see the inside, if it's okay with you. Sure, of course you can have a look at it. This guy won't be bothering me much longer. Excuse me? Here's our scanner. It allows our drivers to see the track ahead of their cars, find a place to safely pass others, and be constantly informed about the condition of their engine. That's quite impressive there, Quincy. As for the engine, it's my pride and joy. Would you like to watch it at work? Really? May I? Thank you. I'll get this over fast, then get back to work on the elephant. Hey, stop it! Turn it off! Oh, stop! I'm so sorry, Mr. Frontier. I guess the oil cap wasn't screwed on the engine. <laughs> oh, yeah, but it does kind of go with your tie, you know. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, really, i better go change. See you later, Quincy. Sorry, old buddy, but I've got lots of work to do. So, they think they can treat me like some unimportant visitor, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Man, I am really wiped out. You know what they say? No pain, no gain. You want to win races? You gotta be in shape. It was nice of you to let me snap pictures of your workout. I got fabulous shots. Thanks, Frank. Oh, uh, Hannah, I, I was kind of wondering, would you have dinner with me in town tonight? Uh, Michael let me have his car for the evening. I would be delighted. Uh, there's something I wanted to tell you, but I I'm not sure exactly how to say it. <clears throat> well, we've been spending a lot of time together, and right, and I kind of. Oh, hey! Where did that guy come from?
Come back here, you punk, you coward! Let Frank Valiant teach you some street manners! Oh, really? We'll see who's the coward, you little worm! Michael's baby. When he sees it, he'll be furious. He'll rake me over the coals. Frank, the main thing is that we're not hurt. That guy was nuts. You couldn't help it. If I could just... Frank, what was it you wanted to tell me back then in the car, hmm? Huh? Oh, that. Oh, I, I don't know. It, it was nothing. It wasn't important. Uh... Gee, I thought you were going... Well, too bad. Well, we'll file your complaints, but it ain't the only one you know. And I'll have to tell you, we're not having much luck catching this guy. Well, there ought to be some way to stop him. I can't tell you how many cars he's totaled in just two weeks. Say, Frank, where did Hannah go anyway? She was right here just a minute ago. She went back to the garage. She managed to take a picture of the 4x4 driver, and she wants to develop her film right away. All her equipment is back there. Now, that's what I call a lucky break. With a photo, we can nail the guy. Did the driver by any chance notice Hannah taking his picture? Yeah, and boy, was he furious. Furious enough to follow her, maybe. Hannah's all alone at the factory with the only real proof of who this maniac is. Come on, let's get going. Hannah! Now let's see what this creep looks like. Is anyone there? Easy, Hannah. Don't go getting paranoid just because you're alone. Sweet dreams. You'll wake up in an hour or so. Now, let's see what we have here. Man, how could I have been so stupid to let her go alone? I should have thought that guy would try and get his picture back. Easy, Frank. We don't know if Hannah's in any danger. She could be just fine. Oh. Hannah? Hannah! Oh, Hannah, are you okay? Wake up! Oh, can you hear me? Oh, I'll never forgive myself for this, Hannah. The film. Get the film. Well, he's no fool. This film's been exposed. Mr. Frontier! What's going on? Why are you... What are you doing here? Oh, I always check things around the track at night. It's an old habit. I heard some noise in your garage, and a shadow took off in that direction. Did you get a chance to see who it was? No, I was walking toward him when you arrived, and then he took off. Sorry, I, I saw him inside, and I was chasing him in the dark. I I'm afraid he got away. Too bad the film is totally ruined. Well, we'll find him, and when I get my hands on him... If you're looking for this demolition derby on wheels, I've heard about him from the police. I'd stay clear of him. This is just great, Frank. This little escapade of yours is gonna cost me a couple of sleepless nights. The important thing is that Frank is all right. You know, this Roadhog seems to only act for the fun of smashing cars. Well, this guy sure got a strange way of getting his kicks. I may have a way to lure him out to the track for the race on Sunday. And then we'll have a chance to finally catch him. Yeah! We're gonna get this turkey! is more like Team Valiant. Well, Fox? Yeah, so much for your winning streak. They're fast today, and not only that, they're fighting back. Yeah, it's bloody tough out there. 
I want you to tell me why the Valiants are winning this race. It's temporary, leader. We're just basing ourselves. I assure you, everything's under control. I heard one of our cars and one of Valiant were destroyed in town last night. And is it true you're going on television with Pops Valiant? Yes, we were both attacked by the same maniac. But it will work to our advantage. I plan to use this to create a diversion to clear the way for Team Leader. I expect nothing less than a victory, Ruth. Good evening, everyone. I'm Pops Valiant of Team Valiant with our competitor, Ruth, of Team Leader. And we're here tonight to make a challenge. Take it away, Ruth. Thanks, Pops. A 4x4 driven by a road pirate is terrorizing our city, attacking defenseless drivers. We'd like to challenge the road hog to come to the track where he can face professional drivers. But you know, personally, I don't think he has the guts. My drivers, who won last week, will expect him at the race, if he has the courage to come. So, these racing fools dare to publicly defy me. I'll accept their challenge. I'll enter the race, destroy Team Valiant and Team Leader. Okay, listen up. In case the Roadhog does show up, I want you, Fox, to concentrate on him. Try to smash into him and wipe him out. But don't ever forget the Valiants are your main target. Okay and understood. I'll handle it, Ruth. And you, Kramer, will take advantage of the diversion and take the lead. Right, boss. I destroy that hog, and I win the race. No, you idiot. Don't worry about the road. I'm just trying. Yeah, I got it now. Looks like he took the challenge. Okay, show him who's boss, Michael. This guy's definitely playing for keeps. Way to go, Michael. We'll turn this hog into bacon. <laughs> Take that. My circuits are short, too. He's too much for me. I'm pulling out. Bullseye whammo. How can we stop this guy? Meanwhile, I got the lead! I'm winning! Ah! That's right. Play into my hands. <laughs> Quincy! Hello, Quincy! Do you read me? Michael here! Quincy, do you read me? Come in, Quincy! Quincy! Hello, Michael! What's up? The Roadhog's on the track! He's too strong for us! How's the Valiant Elephant coming? Ah, oh, well, it's still got that wee little speed problem. Speed doesn't matter, Quincy. The elephant's the only vehicle strong enough to beat that pirate. On my way! Come on, baby! Oh, nearly 12 miles an hour! Unavoidable collision ahead. Oh, he's gonna crush me! It's the final bow for the king of drivers. <laughs> no! 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 Frontier! It was you all along! I'm a great driver. Yeah, the greatest driver of all. But they took away my license. They said I was reckless. Reckless? Try insane. But why? Why did you do it? Do you think that the organization of stock car races is enough to satisfy me? At the beginning, I thought so. But after a while, I wanted to get back to racing my own way. I hate sharing! I hate it! It's still a victory for our team, leader. Allow me. 
Frontier has confessed to the police. The only place he's going to be racing around in is a jail cell. The roads are a better place now that he's off of them. I don't mind telling you guys, I was plenty scared. Demolition drivers have no place on the street. And without Quincy and his elephant, he would have demolished us all. Hey, Julie, congratulations on our victory. Thanks, but we had to share our victory. <laughs> <laughs>